we're all dealt a hand, you have to live your life. So, you know, just playing a role, just, just doing something for the greater good. That's my hope for Jim. Christine, we see something on the ultrasound that we're a bit concerned about. We need you to come back in tomorrow. We were nervous. They did not know what the issue was. We've gone to geneticists. We've had doctors in Springfield, doctors from Columbia, Missouri come down, Kansas City. They told us that uh, Jude only has three fingers on her left hand. They could see that there were some fused bones. They told us her right leg was shorter than her left. Jude has a condition called ulnar longitudinal deficiency. Uh, which is quite uncommon even for a place like the Shriners Hospital. I do remember Dr. Goldfarb being our most comforting point of contact and he was very literal and very much about explaining to us what was going on and we needed that at that time. So her right elbow was straight and didn't have any motion. He first brought up unfusing these bones that were connected in her right arm. So we had several lengthy discussions about how that is a difficult challenge, and I think they understood that, but they wanted us to push forward because they understood how important elbow motion was. You want the best for your children. We talked about it, but there really wasn't an option. We were scared. We were scared of, should we do this? We had that question. So we had numerous conversations and eventually went to surgery to establish basically an elbow joint to allow her to move her elbow up and down. It was successful for the first time for him. That was Jude's good arm and finally there was some movement there and we did work through it and we made that baby girl bend and straighten her arm. Because of that, she's able to feed herself, she's able to go to the bathroom by herself and it's given her a huge amount of independence. Sometimes there's tears and sometimes there's challenges, uh, but all of those, all of those hurdles are, are worth it uh, when you help a kid accomplish a task better or simply move through life a little easier. You don't want your child to be in pain, and you don't want to hurt them, but you're doing it because you know in the end it's going to help them. You just have to do it. You have to go through it because you want them to have a better life. The Shriners Hospital in St. Louis is an amazing place. I think one of the reasons that makes it special is the large volume of children we see with unbelievably uncommon conditions. The beauty of working at a place like this is you have kids that come from five or ten hours away because of the care we offer, but each of those children teaches us something along the way. And so if we see you know, 10 children with something like what Jude has, our experience grows and that allows us to do research and further educate the community as a whole and the scientific community as a whole by continuing to explain these conditions and what works in their treatment um, and allows us to move the whole field forward. So it is an amazing thing what we have here. We are looking forward to the new hospital simply because it'll be state-of-the-art in every way. Taking care of a child in the clinic or before and after surgery requires the right facilities and so we've looked at kind of how we can best provide for the patient and provide for the families during that really challenging process of surgical intervention especially. And so I think we have facilities that allow our caregivers to best help the families through this difficult process. Our goals as a hospital are to provide world-class care, innovative care, to all patients regardless of their ability to pay. If a patient comes to us without insurance, it shouldn't matter and it doesn't matter. We have always been givers. In this situation with you, we've been takers. So we're sort of understanding the, um, the feeling of, I need help you know, and we needed help in this situation. So we develop the plan, we implement care, we do surgery, whatever it takes for that child, but that requires money. And so if a child comes here and can't pay, we will take care of that child, but ultimately that requires the support of our donors and support of those who believe in the mission of the Shriners Hospital. I want her to enjoy life and be able to do whatever she wants to do. I want her to play sports if she wants to, because she loves to play sports. I want her to be able to do that. I want her to do whatever she wants to do that her brother does. She wants to do whatever her brother does. I want her to go to school. I want her to go to college. I want her to be independent. I want her to fall in love someday. I want everything for her. When people need care, especially for their child, they need it. Sometimes families don't have any other option. There are lots of families out there that have no other options. So when there's an organization like Shriners 
that can provide that kind of medical care. And you have the ability to help that organization. There's no better calling.